Hi guys, it's Jersha from Jersha and Depp. I'm here with another Thread Up box. Yay! Uh, this one is a jewelry box. It is the listed as a 10 pound DIY jewelry box. And I got it the other day and I've already opened it and already started to untangle things because it was a huge rat nest of tangled necklaces and rings and earrings and everything. So I am going to basically just show you the items that I got and this is probably going to be a really long video because I got a lot of stuff. It's 10 pounds is a lot of jewelry. Um, it was $20 plus $5.99 shipping, so $26 for 10 pounds of jewelry, which I think is a pretty good deal, even if a lot of the stuff is broken, but I am a crafter, so I can use a lot of the broken stuff to make things, which is what my plan was. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I got. Okay, so this is the first section of items that I got. I kind of laid everything out nice and neat so that I can show everything. I got a lot of necklaces, some like really, really long necklaces, um, as well as some really short ones, some bracelets and some earrings and even this, which looks to be a belt, but I will show you in more detail what all of these are. Okay, so the first item is this orange um, statement necklace. It's in pretty good condition, I would say. Um, I don't see any kind of like markings of who made it or anything, but I think it's pretty cute. Kind of makes a little jingly noise. Okay, so the next thing is this little feather necklace. Again, um, this is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> so, no markings that I could find. Just a little piece of fashion jewelry. And this is a multi-strain, multi-strain, multi-strand necklace. Um, there's three strands total. This one was a really pain to uh, untangle because each strand was tangled on itself and on other things and uh, you don't even want to know. Um, so one of the biggest things, one of my biggest complaints with this box is that pretty much everything was just thrown in there without any real care for the items. And um, here's another one, another multi-strand necklace. Oh, it's kind of backwards. Really cute, nothing too special about it. Um, it's not marked, no, it must still have a little knot in there. Um, but anyway, everything was just thrown in there without any kind of care for the items. I honestly think that ThreadUp just had these like in a pile and they were like, this isn't worth um, untangling, so let's just sell it as a bulk uh, box. And you know, I, I still think it's a pretty good deal because like, as you can see, I got, you know, a couple dozen items. This is a little cute black beaded necklace. Um, I got a couple dozen items and I, this is just the first section of the box. There's a, so much more to show you. Um, but it took me probably three or more hours to untangle everything. I've been uh, watching Jewelry Nurse on YouTube, and if you haven't seen her videos, she is so sweet. She does jewelry um, unjarrings from like Goodwill and other thrift stores, and she's just such a sweetheart. And so that kind of got me interested in 
getting some random jewelry of my own. And um, so when I saw that ThreadUp had their boxes, I went ahead and gave it a shot. This is like a really weird statement necklace and it's broken. It's messed up. Might be able to fix it, I don't know, but it's not super cute anyway, but I'm guessing this is the matching bracelet. They look like they go together. So I've been keeping them together. Stretchy beaded necklace. peace sign necklace. This is really in bad condition. Um, it's not marked in any way, so probably just cheapo jewelry. Um, let's see. This is, I believe, one of those foot, like it's, an, it's a bracelet or an anklet, and uh, there's a little loop on here to put over your toe. And then this is magnetic. So I'm pretty sure that's for your feet. I guess you would call that jewelry. Uh, um, the next item, this is super, super cool. But I don't think this is jewelry. It looks to me like a belt. And it's these like enamel, I'm guessing, flowers on, um, on a chain. And I, it's in really, like, really bad condition as far as, like, the metal. I haven't been able to find any markings on it that would indicate who made it or what kind of metal this is. And I'm not an expert. So if you know, that would, I would really appreciate finding out. But I definitely think this is a belt. And it's really, really big. I'm, like, a size... 18, 20, somewhere in that range, and this fit around my waist, so it's really, really big. Okay. And there are a lot of broken pieces. This is broken, um, but I don't think it would be very hard to put it back together because I just need like a jump ring, or a, I don't know what that's called, like a little hoop ring thing right there. Everything else looks like it's intact. Um, no markings that I could find. I think it's pretty cute, though. Pretty little stones. This is another broken one. But again, I think it would be fairly easy to fix it. So it just needs one of those little rings. Cute little bracelet. And it does have a tag that says... Bobble bar, that's like one of those um, monthly subscriptions, I think, that they send you jewelry. I think, I, again, I'm not really super into jewelry. I own a total of one ring and one necklace up until now. So I, I mostly got this just to kind of fill out my own jewelry box and have things to wear. This is an Alex and Ani bracelet. Little starfish. I think it's pretty cute. Everything is probably going to be like really, really out of focus because I'm doing this like sitting next to the camera, looking over my, over its shoulder essentially. Uh, little flower earrings. Nothing super special, but cute. I don't have my ears pierced, but I've been thinking about getting them pierced, you know, so I could wear cute stuff like that. Um, little cuff. Really pretty. I will probably keep this. I really like this. Simple black cuff. Nothing special about it. It's got like a shimmery. I don't know if you can tell that. But it's kind of like shimmery. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, if you want to be all punk, goth, whatever. I definitely think I had one of these in, like, 2006 when I was in high school. It's a little stretchy bracelet. It does have a tag. It says... 
hmm, 925 China. So 925 is sterling silver, I believe. So, like, what part of this is sterling silver? The tag? The little loop? Because <laughs> the, the rest of it is just, like, stretchy. I don't see really any metal. Very odd. Little uh, br blingy bracelet. I don't know if I would ever wear this. It's very, very... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call this, but very blingy. Another little bangle. Nothing really exciting about this. And then I have a whole bunch of little metal bangles. I don't think any of them are marked in any way, like, you know, silver or gold or anything. Um, I haven't really looked at them too closely, but there's nothing, you know, really exciting about any of them, unless they were gold, I guess. There's this necklace. This is very interesting. Like, I don't know that I've ever seen anything like this before. Like a huge rope, like snake necklace. And I do believe there's a marking on this one. It's from Express. So from a department store, a mall store, not really a department store. So nothing like really exciting, but it's cute. And then there's this necklace. I like this one. It's really pretty. Um, I, I don't think gold really works very well for me, but I do like how this looks. I like the red. Really pretty. And this is from Chico's. It's definitely in need of a good cleaning. Um... I don't even know what you would call this. I guess the necklace is like a snake kind of a necklace. And the clasp is like, it pops in. Um, and there's the pendant for it. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call that. It's not something I would wear. And this is new. It's Bops. A uh, little bracelet. Probably something from like a dollar store or something. Um, little beaded ne uh, bracelet, not a necklace. If that could fit on your neck, um, that would be really weird. Um, I'm sure it had some sort of identifying mark at some point, but it's not there anymore. Now let's get into more some more necklaces. This one is a um, arrowhead style. I don't see any markings on it. A couple of these are sterling silver, but I don't know which ones exactly. This one's a little gold sparkly ball. Um, again, no markings. Not that I see at least. This one's a really interesting shape. It's like a, I don't know, like a ninja star, but not quite. Kind of cool. On like a, just a simple chain. No markings. Now this one is marked. Um, it's marked 925. I, I like the pendant. It's really pretty. I believe this also has another mark on it somewhere. Um, Italy. It's really, really tiny. I doubt that there's even a chance that you could read it, but it does say Italy. And it says 925. And you can even, you might be able to see it on the back here, the 925. 
very pretty. Probably one I will keep. Um, I don't think I've said it yet. My plan is to pick out the necklaces that I want and then anything that I don't want I will you know ask friends and stuff and anything that they don't want I'm probably gonna sell on Poshmark if there's anything good or send to my local consignment store. We have a consignment store that is absolutely massive and they take one box of household goods and one bag of clothes every week from their consigners. Like that's uh, the amount, the max amount you can send. And I recently started sending stuff as in like two weeks ago and I've already made $9, which is not bad, I feel like. So this is really unique little pendant. I don't know if you can really see what it, it's kind of like shimmery and it's, I don't know, like the shape of a tooth, maybe like a shark tooth. No markings on it that I saw. This is just a little um, metal, I don't know what you'd call those. They're flat on the back and like rounded on the front. And there's a tag for Panama Jack. I don't know if it's a good brand or not. I have to drag this over because if I pick it up, then I'm just going to flip all the little doodads around. But I think this is a really cool necklace. I think the chain is probably a little too small for me because, again, I have a big fat neck. Um, but I really think this is cool. Like, But if I, if I pick it up, all the little things flip upside down. And I, I didn't see any marks on this, so it's just a little piece of fashion jewelry. It's a cute little um, multiple rings and a little pink stone. I think this one might be Sterling Silver. This one says RMN Jewelry right here on the back. I don't think you can see it. And it is marked with SU925, I think. Right by the clasp. It's in kind of rough condition, but I might be able to clean it up. I bought some um, like jewelry cleaning wipes, like cloths, not wipes. I'm going to try to clean up some stuff. And this one has a C on it, and then on the back, it has CLP, and it does say on the actual necklace, it does say 925. I doubt you're going to be able to see that. My camera probably won't pick that up. But I looked up CLP, and it's like an independent jewelry company in, I want to say Colorado. So that's pretty cool that, that this was in here. I'm always up for finding new brands to, to check out. Sorry about the noise. My cat's getting in a box across the room. Um, so this is just a cool little black um, beaded necklace. And there is a tag for it. It's just a C. I don't know if that's Claire's, maybe? But I think I have a couple things that have that C on them. This one's a little V necklace with black and clear blingy stones on it. This is pretty cute. Um, I don't think it's marked in any way. So probably just something that came from a store in the mall or something, but I like it. I think it's really cute and it's very, very sparkly. So here's another cute, very dainty type of a necklace. And I think this one is marked 925. Nope, I don't think so. I thought it was. 
but it's still cute. I would probably wear it. Multi strand. I got a bunch of multi strand necklaces. And let me tell you, those are a pain to unravel. It's like got a little bar and then a little pearl with some stuff around it. Um, and then there's no markings that I could find, but I thought this was kind of interesting that there's a little like cubic zirconia stone on the uh, right by the clasp. Don't know if anyone knows what brand does that. Now these, the last couple in this round are really, really long. I'm not really going to be able to show you in one frame how big they are, but this is a really, really long necklace. And it is from um, Airy. So I think that's what Aero Pastel or like their junior brand or something like that. So just like a mall brand necklace. It's really, really long and it has these little clear stones. Alright, sorry for the, the random jump cut, but my camera overheated. So, uh, I just have a couple more. And this one is really, really long as well. And it's got these little, like, ball stone it's not really a stone, it's just these little balls every so often. And I don't see any kind of marking at all. And it's so long there's no like clasp or anything. And then here's another really, really long one. Like, I'm, again, like I have a big neck, so I like long necklaces. But this would probably reach to like my belly button. Uh, it's a little triangle with little blingy bits on it. Uh, no markings that I can find. About to trip over my own camera here. Again, really, really, really long. And it's got like this, I don't know, like Illuminati eye. <laughs> um, and the chain on this one is very, very weird. It's like... I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like a chain link, um, like a chain that you would use on a fence to keep it locked, sort of, but like narrow. I don't think that makes any sense at all, but hopefully you can tell what I'm talking about by what I'm showing, what I've shown you. All right, and then there's this one. Again, really, really long cute detail and it, the detail is different on this side than this side and it's got AEO on it don't think that's showing up but that's um, what American Eagle Outfitters something like that and you can I don't think you can tell but the chain is still knotted up this one was a pain to get out um, I'll, I'll have some like b-roll footage to show you to show just how tangled this was because it was pretty bad and this is the last one of this group really really long it's like a metal uh, like a hammered metal thing and then like a a ring and then a little blingy ring and it's missing some of the stones on the on that and this also says AEO on it so, but that's it for this group. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, actually, I lied. There's a couple more little things. So I wanted to show you some of the broken items that I got. This is a really long chain that it broke. I think it was intact when I started to pull things apart, but it came undone. Um, this which is Express Brand. 
um, it came undone as well. I might be able to fix it. I'm really not sure, but it's it's not like any doesn't have any markings that it's any kind of specific metal. So I'm not too terribly concerned about fixing that. And then this is a little blingy bracelet, and it's missing one of the stones. I thought I might find it in the box, but I don't think I found it yet. Um, so I'll probably take that apart just for the stones to make something else. Um, these earrings, they got ripped when I was pulling things apart. Like they were looped in each other and they had um, necklaces looped in them and just a big mess. And then a couple other small things to show you is that I got some things that were not jewelry. First of all, I got this. Yes, that is a socket. I got this in my box. Now, you know, my box ended up being slightly over 10 pounds, but still that added to the weight of the box. And I don't think that's jewelry. So I got, this is, this is jewelry, but it's just a El Cheapo, somebody made this bracelet. This is a hair tie with a bead on it. I guess that qualifies as jewelry. Uh, headband. And another headband. Not jewelry, thread up. Also this, which looks like a... I don't know. It says Alex ink on it. It's got little flip-flops. And a little keychain or like a backpack or something hook. Um, my friend was over whenever I opened this box and he said that he thought it was like a purse thing to hook on a table. I don't carry a purse so I wouldn't know. And then the last thing is this, I mean this is just how tangled this is and it's just a crappy little tiny beaded necklace but I mean this is about how everything was tangled in the box. This is pretty bad. So I will put all this stuff away and I will get started with another video. Alright, this is the second half, or actually more the second third of this video because there's a lot more left. Um, just kind of giving you an overview of what I have to show. Lots and lots of necklaces. Alright. Okay, the first thing I have is this ring. It's like a, it looks like amber, but probably not actually amber. It's pretty cool looking. Doesn't really fit me. But I'm not sure I'd wear it anyway because it's kind of big. So then I have some bangles. Just uh, various sizes, a cuff. Um, it's a little snake skin print cuff. This one is a stretchy one. It's got like little gemstones. This is, this looks kind of handmade, but I'm not quite sure because that's like a lot of detail to do handmade. Little pull tabs to adjust. A little metal with like a, I'm not sure what that pattern is, but it's pretty neat. There is some sort of a logo inside that's like a B with a heart around it. I'm not sure what that is, but that's the only mark that I see. Let's see, stretchy bracelet, real blingy. This says prosperity, peace, and happiness 
definitely needs to be cleaned up. It kind of looks like it, Alex and Ani, but I don't think it is. Because there's not like a tag for it or anything. And I know those normally have a couple more things on them. But this does have an Alex and Ani tag on it. It's pretty cute. Mostly doing bracelets so that I can put them away. Because <laughs> those don't get tangled as easily. This says Peace, Hope, Believe. It's just a little stretchy bracelet. This is like a leathery the flower. This is from Icing. It still has the tag on it. It says $16.50. It's pretty cute. A little pearl detail on there. Might be all the bracelets. Oh, this one might be a bracelet. I don't know. I think that's actually a necklace. But this is like looks homemade. It's got like some beads on it. Little adjustable thing. Actually, that might be a bracelet. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna put all the bracelets away real quick. Found another one. This one looks kind of hand painted. I'm sure it's not actually hand painted. And it's got, oh, looks like there's a little bangle stuck in there. Don't think there's any markings in the bangle. I don't see any. But there's little, like, diamond chips things. I'm sure they're not actually diamonds. They're probably cubic zirconia. But, okay, so let's get started with some necklaces. So the first one is this really cute gold. It's not, I don't think it's actually gold. I don't see any markings. Um, it's got these little, like, half flower type things. Really sparkly and pretty. Um, there's this one. It's pretty interesting. It's a, like, cloth black necklace with a gold uh, at the top. And has this little bitty chip. Now I wonder if that's actually a diamond. Since it's so tiny. I mean, like look how small it is compared to my finger. I really wonder. I don't know how to tell. But the, the fitting for it doesn't look right. So it's probably just like a cubic zirconia for like a little bitty kid or something. And they just did something really tiny. So that the kid, if the kid lost it, it wouldn't be a big deal. That's my guess, at least. Um, Alright, I'll show you this one. It's a really long, beaded necklace. Very interesting. This one was a pain to uh, pull out of all of the other stuff. And it's got like a silver tone clasp. got this one. Not exactly sure how the beads go. It's got like a shell looking thing down here. And a lot of these are really beat up. Um, I don't know what happened. Uh, but it does have a brand on it. It is NY. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with this necklace. I may have to just take it apart and use it for crafts because it's kind of beat up. I'll have to look that one up. Here's another one. It's got like these three bars here. And this one has a brand as well. And there's three chains. Um, this one has a brand it is, or a tag. It says Napier. Um, but I don't think there's anything else as far as like whether it's silver I don't see anything else so I'm gonna have to look up this brand never heard of it this is just a really long chain I don't I don't know if there was anything on this I think actually 
There was one thing I had set aside that I wasn't sure what it was. It looks sort of like a keychain, but I think maybe it went with this necklace. They seem like they're the same color, right? Or maybe I'm just crazy. Um, but yeah, that those probably go together. And there's this one. Just a chain, no pendant on it, silver, but no markings that I see. Here's another one. This one's got a really long chain, kind of like a antique -y gold bronze type, yeah it's bronze. Um, color of the chain and this really pretty it's beat up though like it's got these white marks um, if it weren't for that I'd probably wear this myself maybe I'll try to see if I can paint it because I do think it's pretty cute got another one this one looks handmade because um, it's got like a really long string that you can use to adjust it um, and then just a little black stone right there. It's cute, but I again, I, th I think it's it's handmade. Nothing against that, obviously. Little feather necklace. It's on like a suede type cord. No markings. This one's kind of crazy. It's got multiple chains that all kind of like loop over one another and then like this has fabric on it. Um, this one was really hard to uh, take apart when I was trying to get everything together. Uh, or when I was trying to get everything apart, not together. Here's one that ended up broken. I think I still have the piece to it. It's a little bicycle necklace and it's it's attached on both sides so it's not like I could just take the pendant off and reuse it. But uh, I think I have the piece that I could probably glue back on or I don't know, maybe have my hu husband solder it together. It's got a really long chain. This one's really weird. It looks like, you know, like a business made, or like a company made, factory made, whatever, necklace, but then it has a watch on the end that is like exposed on the back. So I kind of wonder what happened here. Did somebody add that? Or did they take the casing off and just never put it back? The brand on the, the watch is, um, Crosby, I believe. Yeah, pretty sure it's Crosby. Oh, and it's like, I think somebody added that because it's like they covered it with an epoxy. It's like, those are not going to move. I don't think. So I guess maybe they were going for like steampunk or something, maybe? The back does say Seven Jewels, Everbright Watch Company. I don't know, have to look it up. This one's pretty weird too, uh, because I can't figure out how this is a necklace. Like, unless you put both parts on your neck, it's, it's like connected here in the middle and you can't like there's a bead right here that you can't pull it past um, and there's a piece right there so maybe it does connect because there's a piece there I can never figure these out yeah I guess it goes like that 
feel like I'm too zoomed in with my camera. I'm probably gonna have to fix it. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. I guess I guess if you have a short necklace, or if you if you have a smaller neck, it would fit would fit you. Um, here's one of the things that's not jewelry, at least in my opinion. I'm pretty sure that's a little comb to put this in your hair. So I mean, it's hair jewelry, I guess. Same thing with this. This is a uh, headband. I really don't count this as jewelry. I mean, I can't, I can't complain too much because I feel like I've got at least like 40 or 50 items in this box. So for the price that I paid, it's pretty good. But I don't really want to have the junk that I have to throw away as well. These are weird earrings, and like one has a hoop. And the other one does not. And this one has little blingy things that hang from it. And this one does not. But it looks like maybe at one point it did. I would not wear these. <laughs> um, but I guess somebody else wouldn't wear them either. That's why they sent them to throw it up. Uh, this ended up broken. I'm not exactly sure how they connected. I'm guessing there's some sort of clasp missing. And then there's something missing from here to here. The, the bead's missing from here to here. I might be able to fix it or just reuse the pearls. I, I don't know if they're real. I really, really doubt that they're real. Um, they're just too round. This is really pretty. It's just a plain black, like, fabric uh, chain with a little toggle clasp. And then this really pretty purple stone. I really like this. I really, th I think I like more simple jewelry. So some of the stuff that I got in here that's just a little wild, I'm probably never going to wear it. For example, this guy little bit little bit wild for me but yeah this is just a little little crazy for me um, but it's pretty I don't see any kind of maker on the clasp but it's pretty it's just a little bit a little bit busy for me. this looks like a pearl necklace I don't know if it's real it's there's discoloration like whiter pearls here and then darker um, so I mean maybe it's real and it's got this kind of a clasp I don't know if that means anything at all to anybody but it's pretty oh I see it's got like some layers peeling off in sections. I don't know if that means it's fake. I'm assuming that means it's fake. I don't really know anything about pearls. Like, even a little bit. Got some earrings. Little beaded guys with the little gem right there. I. I would think these are probably handmade, but they're really cute. Again, I don't have pierced ears though, so I can't really take full advantage of that. And then these are still on the card. Yeah, so they're probably new. They may have been used. They're missing the little uh, rubber things on the back. But little stars. I really like this. Very pretty. almost looks like opal but I don't think it is but it's opal-ish which I like opals I don't think I showed this one yet this is a uh, big statement necklace it's got multiple chains that are connected and then you can see right here that I have one of the stones up there it fell off when I was taking it taking everything um, 
apart, like untangling everything. So I just hooked it up there until I could f work on it and fix it. But if you like this kind of a statement necklace, that's pretty cool. Oh, I just noticed that the pearl, or not pearl, the opal looking one has a tag on it is Lena Bernard. I've never heard of that before, so I have no idea if that means anything. I mean, for all I know, it's vintage or uh, junk. I mean, I really have no idea. There's this, which is like, it's like the coach logo, but it's missing a bunch of rhinestones, so probably something from a dollar store or something along those lines. No markings on the chain that I can see. A little plain. I probably showed you this one already. I think I did. A uh, little ring. This looks sort of like, I don't know, Claire's mall brand, just junk for little kids. It's, you know, like one of those adjustable ones. This is really pretty, but unfortunately it broke when I was untangling things. Like, it's just completely broken. I don't think it's real gold, but it might be. And I'm it's attached on both sides of the pendant, so I don't know if I can re reuse it, but I will try, because I think it's really cute. There's this, which is just a little plain black, and it's got a little, like, just a little tab at the bottom. That's basically all that this is. There's no markings on the the clasp or anywhere else that I can find. So probably something from, I don't know, gumball machine or something along those lines. Alright, this bad boy is a pain in the butt. It took me so long to De detangle this thing. It's got three different chains. You see there's the pink stone, there's like a tassel, there's an owl, and there's a little round thing with like a flower on it. And they just want to loop around and around and around and around, and it's really, really long. So I'm going to just put that back so that I don't end up retangling it. There's this guy, multiple strands, uh, like really tiny beads. Um, there's a little pink bead at the, like a different type of bead on the the chain. I don't see any kind of brand, um, but I, I wouldn't think that this was handmade because it just it looks too like factory done. This may be handmade. I'm really not sure. It's just kind of wanting to fold up on itself, and it has some earrings with it. This is just in like a plastic baggie mixed in with all the other stuff. I don't see any kind of marking on the chain, but it's cute. It's like a wired necklace. a plain red beaded necklace. Nothing special. This stretches. Cute costume jewelry, basically. Some Isis earrings. Ooh. Designed in New York. Cute. Now this one baffles me. It's it's made out of fabric and it's like a stretchy like this is like swimsuit material. I've literally never seen a necklace made like this. And it's got a bunch of charms on it. So I am pretty sure this is handmade. And I'm wondering if maybe it was just supposed to be something to wear like to the beach, to water park, that kind of thing. And so they made it out of this kind of material so it would dry really quickly. That's the only thing I can think of. It's kind of weird. This uh, has a brand on it. It is Anne Klein, I believe. Yeah, Anne Klein. It's got the little line on the other side. It's kind of 
tribally. It's got the little toggle. I think that's what that's called. If I if I'm saying the wrong thing, don't make fun of me. Because I don't know jewelry. I'm trying, guys. Alright. A couple more things in this group. This little fun chain. It's got like a chain here and a thicker one here. And it's got these little blue... It's like a greenish blue stone. And then all these little blingy things about it. Now this one I'm pretty excited about because all of the like stones are there as far as I can tell. And I think it's pretty cute. It's probably not something I'm going to wear, but I think that um, one of my friends will like it. So um, I'll, I will definitely check, see if she likes it. And if she doesn't, then, you know, I'll be selling it. So if you like it, let me know. And this is a really, really long necklace and it's um, it's got beads every so often and they're they can't move there's like little um, spacers I guess is what those would be called it's on a long chain uh, I don't think there's anything on the clasp no nothing special about it really really long elephant necklace nothing on the clasp or on the pendant that I see a lot of this stuff I think probably came from like Amazon um, or eBay or something along those lines like pretty cheap jewelry um, this one was also a pain to pull apart and probably I don't even have it perfectly correct it's like five strands and they're knotted every so often like I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be I mean I don't know I've never worn anything like this so I, maybe I've got it all messed up I don't have a clue um, nothing on the clasp it's like a really big clasp like that's huge <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot to show this one. This one's just really simple. Just a little fabric or velvet choker. It needs to be like uh, cleaned with a lint roller because it's got all kinds of lint on it. But uh, definitely very 90s, I would say. This one's pretty fun. It's like a bolo tie, but it's a necklace. And it's got this really cool stone in there. I don't know what that's called, but it's pretty neat. But it's definitely styled like a bolo tie, and it's like a square chain. Um, and just move it up and down. I'm not really a bolo tie fan, but I like that stone, and I like the square chain, so maybe I can figure out how to wear it that doesn't look like I'm trying to be from Texas. <laughs> Alright, last thing from this part. Beaded. This cute little thing. It's like a swirly... I don't know what kind of material that is. Acrylic, probably something along those lines. Nothing on the clasp, so uh, I will put all these away and start on the next section. Alright, part three. So this is the last grouping, and as you can tell, the table is not quite as full as it was in the first few. So, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show is just all the mismatched earrings. As you can see, there are a lot. Um, you know, nothing just stands out as amazing, but lots of cool little beads and stuff. Like, this is pretty cool. It's like a... I'm trying to get that to focus. Um, like a cracked kind of a appearance. Some little... You know, gold metal disc things, 
cool orange gem, big blingy earrings. I mean, lots of little things for crafting. Nothing stands out as being just absolutely amazing, but still some cool stuff. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the matching pairs of earrings. So, these are by or Tamina by Stella. Green, kind of faceted, acrylic, I'm assuming. They have a tag for $25 on them, but, you know, retail on jewelry, who pays that? Some hoops that are like a textured metal. These are like wires with little red beads on them. Kind of antique looking, uh, like copper. Double helix. Those are pretty cool, especially if you're into like science or something. Wired bead. Um, these kind of look handmade. And they're definitely like misshapen. They need to be shaped better if someone was to wear them. It's another pair that are new from Paparazzi. I'm not sure, but I think isn't Paparazzi like five dollars a pair of all their jewelry or whatever? I I'm pretty sure it's a pretty cheap brand. These are pretty fun. They are compasses. I don't know if they actually work, but they're pretty cool looking. Yellow beaded. Nothing too special about those. Metal flowers with little gems in the middle. Hooped. Pretty big. Somewhat heavy, not unbearably so, I don't think. And these have a brand on them. They are Chico's. Mall store brand. These kind of look like, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they kind of look like little purses. Probably not what they're supposed to be, though. These are pretty old looking. I think, yeah, these are missing some of the, the little clear stones, but probably repairable. Not well versed in holding this stuff. Just metal with weird patterns on the the balls. Last pair of earrings just like these horseshoe shape. I don't know what what you actually call this but it looks sort of like a horseshoe to me. Uh, they actually there are a couple more earrings but these are broken. I just kind of wanted to show like these these came and I'm pretty sure they were broken when they got here. I, I didn't mention this before but there was literally no protection to any of this stuff. I should have taken a picture or a video um, when I first got it. They Everything was just thrown in the box. No air bubble things, no paper, nothing. Not even like their traditional um, tissue paper that they put on everything. So I literally, I feel like they just said, we don't want this, sh this stuff. Um, let's just get rid of it. Let's see if some poor sucker will buy it. Alright, so let's start rings. This is a little stretchy band, so it'll fit my fat fingers mostly. Mostly. It, uh, it still has like a metal edge to it that I can't really get my finger past. This one's pretty cool. It's really, really big uh, as far as the stone goes, the actual 
clasp part's not big, but it's adjustable. But it's huge. I mean, like, look at it in my hand. That's, it's pretty cool. This one is like a wire-wrapped stone. Not adjustable, unfortunately. So it's not going to fit me, but still pretty cool. This is like a... I don't know what this is called, but it's like a cuff for your finger. It's open design. Pretty neat. This one's crazy. It's... I don't know what you call this. It's It needs to be repaired. I'm guessing someone made this. It's stretchy. And it just... Everything... These little beads just kind of go all over the place, but the ribbons need to be re-glued or something on part of them. Little pineapple ring. Nothing special. And this one just has little gemstones, or it's not really gemstones, it's little probably a cubic zirconia all around the ring. It's really small. I mean, even my pinky, it only gets to there. I have fat hands, so, or fat fingers, so it doesn't surprise me. This one's like a wave. Pretty small ring as far as how big around it is. This one is like a green with little stones all around it. I don't think it's missing any but they're so tiny or maybe I think there actually are no stones around it it's just like textured metal to make it look like stones so even cheaper this one is really really tiny like about the same as that one. It's got like a swirl. Really tiny. This is an infinity knot with some stones on it, but it's missing some. Well, actually, it's not. It's just dirty, so it looks like it's missing some, but it's not. pretty pink with the two stones on either side or two one on each side it's another one of those stretchy rings just got like a big stone it's kind of gaudy I, I'm pretty sure somebody made this no offense to the person that made it but it's not very pretty it's just a little textured metal This one's got stones all the way around it. And I've looked at these, they don't show any kind of markings, so almost definitely fake. This is just a little thin textured metal, like hammered metal almost. This is a little bow, really cute. It's got little stones on it. And I don't think it's actually missing any. Yeah, don't think it's actually missing any. This has to be a kid's ring. It's so small. Like, I don't know. Like, that's that just seems really small. And it's little, like, points all the way around it. A little textured. It's textured on the inside, no? Yeah, it's textured all the way around. This might be part of the jewelry and not actually, like, part of a pendant or something and not actually a ring. I can't tell though. And this one is stones all the way around. This is probably like some of those little stacking ring sets that were kind of popular a couple years ago. And this one has stones all the way around. Alright, 
So let's look at necklaces. So the first one is this orange statement bauble necklace. It's in pretty good shape. Pretty cute. No markings that I saw as far as brand or anything. This is a cute little beaded and then it's got a little charm at the bottom that doesn't say anything. It looked like it said something. But it does not. It's just like a tribal thing, I think. It's got metal, but no markings that I see. It's pretty tarnished. Most of this stuff is like really tarnished. This one's really pretty. It's a black braided cord with like an opal-esque. I'm sure it's not actually opal. But this one, surprise, surprise, sterling silver, 925. I thought that was pretty cool. I, oops, sorry. That's probably really loud. I wonder if this came off of something else. Because it seems odd that sterling silver would be on a little fabric chain like that. That is coming undone. Like, I just pulled on it a little bit and it started to come undone. Very strange. This is a gold tone, and it's got some silver tone on it too, and then these adjust how long it is. Now my question is, do these go in the front or the back? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not good with jewelry. It's really long. This is a brand name, Express huge pendant this is a big statement necklace huge very thick you know it's you know half the length of my finger and it has the BR pretty sure that's Banana Republic so Another mall brand. There's a lot of mall brand stuff in here. This, it's got a couple layers of shells, like flat. Some of them are broken, like that one. But it's still pretty cute. I'll probably take this apart to use for crafting. And that's my phone. And this one has AOE on it, or A A E O, which is American Eagle Outfitters, I'm pretty sure. This cute little tassel necklace, and there's these little gemstone or cubic zirconia probably on there. I'm not exactly how that lays. I guess it's supposed to lay sort of like that. I don't know. This is similar to the orange one that we saw earlier that has all these big stones on it. It's got like beads. I don't think the other one was like that. I think it was just gold. And this one, the clasp is broken. There's no like little button. This is by Chico's. Oh, there's the part of the clasp that broke of that last one. But this is by Chico's. It's got like the invisible chain and these little metal um, pendant things on it. This is the AEO, so that would be American Eagle as well. Just a, this is pretty dainty and cute little beads and 
pearl like or not pearl but like clear little beads and stuff and it's got some on the um, the chain where it connects to the clasp as well I don't know if that little section of a necklace has a, a specific name a couple more necklaces and then bracelets and then we'll be done this one is pretty ugly in my opinion no offense if you like it it's just a bunch of strands I honestly thought this was like 12 different necklaces until I pulled this part of it out and I was like oh it's all together interesting there's this guy it's all these little crystal beads and then this black really cool looking bead in the center I didn't see any kind of brand or anything look how big that clasp is this is a heavy heavy necklace too it's, it's pretty cool I might actually wear this Alright, last necklace. And it's just a plain black chain with a little crystal on the end. It's pretty cute. I like these plain, simple necklaces a lot. Um, while I was looking through setting up this next this set, I found more of that bobble bar. I thought the bobble bar was a bracelet, but apparently it's a necklace. Because here's more pieces of it. Alright, just a couple bracelets, well, more like ten bracelets. Uh, this little beach themed charm bracelet. Little kid uh, Care Bear bracelet. This is a little stretchy beaded, um, it's like those, those little beads that were popular 10-15 years ago. But this one has a little charm on it with little gems on it. This one was probably handmade. It's pretty cute though. It's got like wood bead here and then a bunch of these smaller beads all the way around. Little metal with blue stones in it. This is pretty cute. Stretchy. Got a uh, kids made bracelet. Kind of makes me sad when I find this stuff because somebody's kid made this and then it ended up here somehow. You know? Like if you don't want it, throw it away. Don't give it away, you know? There's a beach charm bracelet again. Don't see any kind of brand on any of these. This is sort of like an Alex and Ani style, but the back says Vantel Pearls. So I'm guessing this is a real pearl. I don't know. Oops. It's pretty small. I don't think that would fit on my wrist. There's this big blingy cuff. I I mean, it's pretty crazy looking. There's this cuff with the bow on it. It's unfortunately missing some stones. A textured metal cuff. Or not cuff, a bangle. And then a little beaded cuff bracelet. And I think that's it. And the last thing I wanted to show was basically just all the junk left in the box. Um, this is a necklace that I pretty much had to destroy to get to everything because each of these was attached up here and things were just looped around it and it just it was impossible to get apart so I just pulled it apart 
the brand on it is top it off. Hopefully that's not anything too expensive. And then this is pieces of a necklace that was looped around about a thousand different ways. So I, I just cut it apart. It's just a little beaded bracelet or necklace. And, uh, and there's the piece of the bicycle necklace. There's a piece of that one, uh, it was like an orange and clear stone. Um, I think it was a necklace. So, yeah, there's a lot of little things in here for crafting. Overall, pretty happy. Sorry for the abrupt change in scenery, but uh, I was putting away things and I found um, a couple more items that were in another plastic baggie. Um, so, I wanted to show them to you. So this is just a stretch pearl. I, I doubt that it's real pearls, but I thought it was pretty cute. Um, this is a cameo necklace. Um, there's no like sterling silver or anything, but it does have Trafari on the back of the cameo and on the clasp of the chain, or near the clasp. This is just a, a really pretty necklace. No markings, but I just really liked the design, the leaves, and the little red beads. It's just really pretty and dainty. Uh, and then this is a big, really long, blue beaded necklace. It does have Leah Sophia on the tag. And then this is a just a cute little pair of butterfly earrings. Um, I initially pulled them because they, I thought they were going to be really dainty and fragile, but they're like made out of metal or something, and uh, I can barely see it on the tag, but it looks like it's from H&M. So overall, for the price that I paid for the jewelry box, I do think it was a good deal. There was a lot of time that I had to invest in untangling everything and sorting everything, and uh, I've worked on cleaning some of it already. There's a lot of time commitment to it, but I'm probably going to end up with at least 10, 15, maybe even 20 items that I'm going to keep. So at a dollar a piece, I feel like that's well a little over a dollar a piece when you factor in shipping. I think that's a great deal. And then I'm going to give away some stuff and I'm going to send some stuff to a consignment store to get rid of it. Maybe put some stuff on Poshmark. I, I don't think there's anything that's really that great in there though. So um, I think it's a great deal if you're looking for your own jewelry. If you are looking to resell, which you know, I, I, that's another thing altogether. I don't think that it would be a very good buy for you. Um, but I do think that if you're looking for stuff for yourself, it's a pretty good deal. Especially if you enjoy like the thrill of the hunt, the, the thrill of what am I going to get, you know? I feel like that's really fun. I you know I got some junk, but I got some really cool stuff, and I got a lot of stuff to craft with as well. So I definitely think this is probably one of ThreadUp's best boxes as far as dollars to value go. Um, some of the other ones aren't so great, but if you give it a try, let me know because I love watching these videos, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.